18 local heroes are coming home this afternoon following a three day trip around Washington DC touring the war memorials built in their honor. We love this story. We love Honor Flight. 13 Action News reporter Sean Delancey joins us live with how you can welcome the veterans home. Good morning, Sean. Yeah, good morning, Alicia. It is a great program and seeing the return of the honor flight at the airport is a beautiful thing if you have never seen it before. And it's a great way to honor these heroes for their service. Kalina Estrinos is a busy woman and she got the chance to also chat with one of these veterans before he lifted off earlier this week. Joseph Whetstone is a Navy vet of 20 years, serving through the end of both the Korean and the Vietnam Wars. He's had a note posted on his fridge for more than a year, with the dates of his memorial tours visible every single day. Some had to be crossed out as the dates passed. The coronavirus pandemic postponed this flight until it was safer, but Whetstone says that he was very eager to head to the D.C. memorial sites. They always told me that once you see the memorial and you're there and you look at the results, you know, the scene what actually in front of you, it said it gets pretty overwhelming. Weston says that he wants to replace that note on his fridge with a photo of himself touring the memorial. Honor Flight of Southern Nevada organizes these three day trips for war veterans as a way of thanking and honoring them. The trip is completely free for the veterans and their ex escorts. Now the vets will be back here in Las Vegas at Terminal 1 of McCarran Airport at 2.45 this afternoon. Sean Delancey, 13 Action News.